right, shades on, I'm back. So today, we're at West Lidderford. It's Lidderford on Foss. I'm guessing this is North Somerset. Oh, ish. And we are next to a church, St. Peter's. Beautiful little church, really. What really, is, you say it's a village, it's more of a hamlet, really, quite small, but it's quite lovely. And then we're gonna have a little stroll around to where the river is. And then we'll, uh, we can have a look at the 17th century bridge. Come with me. So we found a little walkway over the river, I suppose. And it's quite narrow <laughs> with only chicken wire on it. And the dogs won't go across it. They don't like bridges. I'll show you. There's the wimpy dogs. Okay. If you're a dog, that probably is a bit frightening. Right, a couple of big steps up. Look at that. They won't even, they'll go up the steps and then when they realise it was a bridge, they were having none of it, right? You get up, walk along the bridge. And if you look to the right, the river goes on down and away into the far distance. If you look to the left, you've got a weir. Hello, mate. You want to get by? Is that all right? There you go. Oh, that's quite lovely. So anyway, if you have to leave your dogs the other side of the bridge and tie them to a fence while you walk over and explore, do it. Right, there's the weir again. Right, so now we're going to have a stroll forward, I'll show you. Looks quite nice actually, very nice. It is a very narrow bridge. Two people would struggle to pass on it, although we have just done that. But if they would come over the bridge, they can walk that way up into some fields. It's all in the shade here. Or you can walk this way, round towards the weir. Come on then, come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. This might be a no. I've had this trouble before with some of the widest bridges you wouldn't believe and they wouldn't come across. Probably a no then. I'm gonna have to go back there, bugger. So I've been calling them and calling them. I let them off to leave, right? See if they would be just brave enough to leave it. And they're not. Right, I went over the bridge and I got out of sight and they have, I could hear them whining, but they haven't moved in. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone back. Here, I'll show you. Yeah. That's as near as she got to crossing that bridge. <laughs> but I haven't said that, she's done better than Teddy. Teddy wouldn't even get up on a step. Oh well, such is life, eh? So, no success on the bridge. Looks like we're walking back now through the graveyard. So. That's our little trip to Lidford. Yeah, Lidford. Uh, I would like to have gone farther, but handicapped by two very... I don't know, what should we call them without being horrible? They can't hear me anyway. Wanky dogs. Two wanky dogs. <laughs> they won't even go across the bridge. I've seen loads of dogs do it all over there. But we, start, we almost formed a queue. So I had to get it away, let all the other people with their dogs go over. So that's how we looked at their 17th century bridge, or what we could see of it, because the viewing point we couldn't get round to. We saw the weir, and it's a pretty little hamlet. So where from here, I'm wondering? Let me just check. So I found, um, only 11 miles away, uh, King Alfred's Tower, which I could, I think we can get to without too much trouble. It's not far. 15 minutes in a car, van, van, and I'll be there. Uh, and it says it's got, <laughs> it's got a viewing tower, but you've got to work quite a lot of steps. We might not be doing that today, because my hips and knees and everything are going, don't go up and down stairs, just chill. So we're gonna have a look at King Alfred's Tower. Did I say King Alfred's Tower? Anyway, let's go and have a look. Wow. <laughs> I was 
not expecting that. King Outwards Tower. Jeez. And it's set you in this strip of land. That is oh, I warrantly big. <laughs> hmm. Let's explore a bit around to where you can sort of see what I suppose is our main door. I guess we're too late today to go up the stairs. So I'll use that as my excuse for not going all the way up to the viewing platform. And that's what we're saying. I don't know why it was built. I wonder if there's something here telling me that. Hold on. So I haven't walked round it and realised it's huge. Um, it's triangular in shape. See, so you've got a column to the left there and a brick column to the right. So it's a circular, probably a, a, a staircase going up there, one side or the other, or even the back one. And there's one more at the back. So it's triangular in shape or style. I'm not really sure how I can show you how big it actually is. I was not expecting this at all. But that door, just the door, let me just get up to it a minute. Peak of the arch. I'm, I pretend I'm six foot, but I'm actually 5'8". I've shrunk, I used to be 5'2". I'm going to say that's 11 feet. 11 feet up to the peak of the arch there. Now I was just roaming around really in North Somerset and picking out little things that I have access to and little app I've got that should tell me where I can go, places to go. And they're all in a map all over the UK, which is cool, I like it. And uh, so I thought, oh, this is only like 11 miles from the last place I was at. I'll pop along. But if I'd known how imp well, I didn't plan this out properly. I would have liked, to I will come back again when it's, when it's during the day and it's open. Because if I'm having a good day, I might just uh, go up them steps to the viewing tower. I just want to see what's, what you can see from the top. I think it would be spectacular, actually. Anyway, but this is all forestry right round here. Very dense. Quite a lovely place to visit. You could come here and just chill out for a, for a whole day doing nothing. It's nice. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, rabbit. <whistles> come here. Come here, Teddy, bear, come on. Teddy, bugger, they have seen a squirrel or something. Right, gotta go, bite, 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 bite. Oh, they decided to come back. It's very echoey here. Come on, good dogs. Come on, let's go get in the van. We've got to find somewhere to go, a place to be. Come on.